What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more hardcore. And in fact, I felt like I've been talking about different kinds of hardcore recently, and it occurred to me, you know, I've reacted to a number of, like, classic Gabber tracks. I've reacted to some early hardcore, meaning modern produced hardcore, but made in the 90s style. And I've reacted uh, recently to some, like, mainstream or, like, modern hardcore. Uh, but one of the styles I haven't reacted to is a style that goes way back for me. When I first got into hardcore, one of the things that attracted me to the genre is that there were a number of tunes that sampled hip-hop tracks and even had, like, syncopated hip-hop beats in the middle of a hardcore track. Um, and again, labels like Industrial Strength and some others, you know, I was able to find that kind of material. So that type of hip-hop, hip or that type of hip-hop, that type of hardcore, which samples hip-hop, has always been one of my main um, flavors of hardcore that I'm interested in. And ultimately, um, I've heard a number of people say that they think the two genres just blend together really well, um, and I think a number of producers are very much of that um, opinion as well. I mentioned, um, what, lab what reaction was it? I forget what reaction was, but I mentioned Hellfish before. Uh, Julian Cobb goes by, I think, a few different names, but Hellfish, I think, is the most famous. Um, I don't know if he ran Death Chant. I think he did. I think he was the one behind Death Chant, but that was, you know, that was the label that I first learned of him um, from. Now, this, I think, is a label from his collaborator here, uh, DJ Akira. Uh, this is a Hellfish and Akira record, and it's on Fish and Rice Records. I do love the little, you know, cartoonish logo. Um, but yeah, like I said, this isn't, you know, early hardcore Gabber style. This isn't mainstream, like, modern hardcore. This is, like hip-hop, head-smashing, head-banging, you know, proper um, muck-raking hardcore. So, yeah, um, be prepared. But like I said, I, I'm into a few different styles of hardcore, and it occurred to me I hadn't really done a track that, like, is really down this avenue. Uh, and this would be a good example. Um, ignore the Painbringer sleeve. Um, this comes from a different record, but Painbringer Music is another cool hardcore label. So, um, I'm trying to think, I think I did react to Lockjaw's Come As One EP, at least a couple of the tracks, and that is a Painbringer Music record. In any case, let's get back to this one. Uh, we're going to listen to The Sixteen, um, and it's, like I said, by Hellfish and Akira, and it samples a hip-hop track. I don't know what hip-hop track it's from. It sounds like a more modern hip-hop track. It doesn't sound like a 90s tune. Um, it sounds like a more recent hip-hop track, but I could be wrong there. Either way, let's get it. This is Hellfish and Akira. The tune is The Sixteen, and it's on Fish and Rice Records, number one. Where do you see this? Open a set with this. 
Like, it's unpredictable. Like, first time you hear this, you have no idea what's happening. It's a really cool tune. It's a smashing hardcore track. It's definitely a hardcore track that, you know, it's for people who are into hardcore. It's not, if I were to introduce someone to hardcore, that is not the first track I would play them, and even less so the track on the other side, Portland Street Blues. Look the hell out. Um, but yeah, it is uh, it is a cool tune if you're into that hardcore meets hip-hop sort of flavor, which again was one of the first styles that caught my ear, like back as a teenager in the 90s, so... Um, it's a style I've continued to enjoy. I don't have a whole bunch of records in that style. I have more like, you know, early hardcore, whether like, you know, traditional Gabber or again, a lot of tracks that are made these days, but to have that sort of 90s sound. Um, I do have some mainstream hardcore. I have a few records in that style. I wish I had more Death Chan. I mentioned Death Chan. It's a really cool label. Uh, there's a track, uh, The Ripper. Um, I'm trying to remember. It's like Technological Terror Crew, I think is the name they use. It's Julian Cobb and I think one or two other people. That track is an absolute killer, um, and one that I remember like way back in the day. It was on like a, a compilation or like a mix CD that I had. It was like a hardcore mix CD. Um, that's the first place I heard that, and I think that's what brought me to discover Death Chan in the first place. So um, yeah, top tune. Shout out to Julian Cobb. Shout out to Akira. Um, I think there's another Fish and Rice uh, Records release, but this is the only one I have. Um, I might come back for Portland Street Blues, but again, I'm not sure a lot of people could handle it. So. Uh, we'll have to see, but do let me know what you think of this tune. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>